Hello everyone, this is another Black Conservative. I am Ryan Bowling. Thank you all for joining me. So trans boxer Patricio Manuel has just won his, her uh, third bout. So the record is 3-0. and oh. And uh, when I first read this article, I'm like, yeah, why? Okay, so let's get right into this article and find out why. Let's get right into this. I, I thought it was interesting and it's funny to me because after watching this video, I'm like, yeah, I know why. But let's let's get right into this. So it says, um, Patric Patricio Pat Manuel, the first professional boxer to fight as both a woman and a trans man, is currently undefeated in the super featherweight boxing category. The super featherweight. Now, let me tell you up front. I haven't been keeping up with boxing recently. Most of the time when I watch boxing, it's usually from the 70s and 80s on YouTube. I'll type it up on YouTube and watch it from the 70s and 80s. Real boxing, mind you, okay? I haven't been keeping up with any of the current boxers because a lot of this stuff is just so messed up today. I didn't know they had a super featherweight boxing category. What the heck is a super featherweight? I knew they had a featherweight. That's like one of the lowest, uh, the low in terms of weight. But you got a super featherweight. So how much did they weigh? 20 pounds? You know, I mean, come on. Super featherweight category. Let's go on. Manuel 37 beat, I'm not going to even pronounce the name, in the fourth round on March 18th. It's his third win since debuting as a professional fighter in December 2018. There was some rust coming in, but I'm... But I started getting my my rhythm, Manuel said after the win. I'm just happy to be in this ring. This this where I'm I am supposed to be. According to Sandros Ross, Manuel started professional boxing late in life due to discrimination in the male boxing world. Come on, man. Manuel started professional boxing late in life due to discrimination in the box male boxing world. Uh, why do you think is that? Because you are biologically a female and it might be a problem if you want to try to box, prof you know, professional male boxers. It might be a problem. But let's, let's go on. The, uh, the uh, pandemic also put a, his career in a holding pattern. We, we were getting ready to go back in 2020 and then the world stopped because of uh, the pandemic, Manuel said. Manuel, born to an Irish American mother and a black father, said he has experienced race and gender discrimination due to being mixed, being mixed race and transgender. I can't disconnect my blackness from my gender identity, Manuel says. Who I am, how I have moved through this world when I was identified as, quote, light skinned, mixed race, black girl is a very different experience than a light skinned, mixed race, black man. I mean, it's, it's, it's crazy. So, look, that's the end of that article right there. And you guys, if you want to, you can go to the uh, description box and find out. It, it, it Watch the portion of the of the uh, fight. It's like a, a minute and 25 seconds. Now, when I watch this fight, I wish I had the software to be. Sooner or later, I'm going to get the software to be able to show you guys. I haven't learned how to do that yet. But as I watch the video, right, okay, it's like a minute and 25 seconds, I watched this video and I'm saying to myself, it's clear, it's clear why this transgender male, female, that stuff confuses me, man. It really confuses me. But it's a biological woman who wants to be a man and wants to compete in uh, biological male sports, okay? Which we don't see often. We don't see that often. We see the other side more often. But in this instance, it's a female who wants to be a man who wants to compete in male boxing. I never heard of this boxer. I'm not familiar with a lot of the modern boxers, and I certainly haven't heard of this boxer. So I'm not going to say anything about the skill level of this boxer. But I'm saying I'm, I'm making a comment on the video and the article that I read and the video that I watched. So after I watched that video, it seemed evident to me that the only reason why that this this boxer won this this bout, even though it was a minute and twenty five seconds, is because the boxer that he she was fighting was obviously bigger, obviously a man. Okay, but this person was he was doing this. 
In other words, he was going easy on him. He was going easy on him, her, okay? He was going easy on him. So, so obviously, obviously the person would have, look, let's be realistic. Any female who wants to compete in male boxing, this is just common sense the way I see it. Any female who wants to compete in male boxing, you want to compete in male boxing, okay, look, you might get a few good licks in, okay? You might get a few good look, licks in, okay? Depending on the category or whatever, you might get a few good licks in, but nine times out of 10, that female boxer is not going to be able to take the punches from the male boxer. She may even get one in and knock out the male, bo male boxer, but that female slash male boxer who, or female who wants to be a male boxing and, and competing with biological males, okay, in boxing, she may even be, she, he may even be able to knock that male boxer out. But I guarantee you that male boxer, if he really hits, he hurt, going to knock them out the first time around. It's just as simple. And I am pretty sure that this transgender individual who wants to compete with male boxers, that I'm pretty sure that the male boxers were told in advance that this is a transgender woman. Man, however they want to put it. This is a biological female who wants to compete as a male, okay? Wants to fight with the men, okay? I'm pretty sure they were told that because if you watch the video, this guy's just so light. And the female, you know, the female who wants to be a male, obviously she's taking some kind of hormone pills or whatever to make her body flesh out, to look more like a male. Her breasts are shrunken in and so forth. You can still see them, but it's kind of, it's gross. But her breasts are kind of sunk in and so forth. She got a little muscle mass and so forth. But you can tell. You can tell. And that's that's the summation that I have of it. Clearly, the, the male boxer, the true biological male boxer was going easy on this individual. Look, the bottom line is this. Males and females are not the same. They're not. They're not the same biologically. The doctors may give you hormone pills to make you look a certain way and to lessen certain muscle masses for biological males that want to be women and for women, biological females that want to be men, they may give you certain hormones, certain pills or whatever to build up your mass and shrink your breasts. But at the end of the day, you were born biologically male, biologically female. What kills me is why would you want to compete in these kind of sports? Now, I already explained to you guys why I believe a lot of these males who want to compete in female sports are competing in female sports. They just losers and have been losers in the male sports. So they decided to take advantage of this whole transgender bull crap and utilize that for the female situation. OK, Do these females who want to compete with men, I don't understand that. Maybe they ran out of female boxers. Maybe that might be what it is. They ran out of female boxers because they, maybe there aren't that many female boxers that are competitive enough. So they figure, well, you know what? Let me just go ahead and start competing with the males. Okay. But the problem is you're going to be in a category like super, 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 super featherweight. You know, next thing they know, they're going to have to com com uh, create another category. Super duper featherweight. I don't know what, what you know. And, and, and clearly they're going to have to tell the, the, the male that, that he, she is competing with. Okay, that's actually a biological female, but she wants to compete with males. Kind of go easy on her. And even if they don't say go easy on her, him, okay, they'll just say this is actually a female but wants to compete. So that boxer who doesn't want that male boxer, the biological male boxer who doesn't want to hurt that female, he's going to go easy on her. Like this boxer was in this video I just watched. He's going to go easy on her. It's silly, it's ridiculous, but the only reason why I did this video is because it's silly and it's ridiculous and interesting, okay? It, it, it amazes me how these people want to do this type of stuff. They're falling for the Marxist bait. That shows that there are some people out there who have lost all contact with, with reality. These people need real spiritual and psychological help, and this boxer is one of them. But I just wanted to give you guys that... that, that, that uh, commentary what do you guys think you know what do you think about this whole female uh wanting to box this male but what do you think about all of this stuff leave your comments in the comment section below like share and subscribe to my channel god bless you all and see you again